Hello everyone, this is Crystal and welcome to my channel where I share card making techniques, sweet paper crafts, and now inspiring food ideas. And if you are new here, I encourage you to subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today I bring you another project using scraps and pieces of your e-club kit and other items you may have in your stash. You may ask, what is an e-club kit? Well, Edith Ray from Scrapbooking With Me puts together a monthly subscription. That is a kit of coordinating craft ideas to make a monthly project. It also has a PDF file and a video on how to make the project. There's also a Facebook group where everyone shares their monthly project or other projects made from the materials from the kit. I'll post the link below in case you're interested. Today's project is called a triple library card with a trifold flap. Now the front of this has pockets where you can put all your little souvenirs and stuff in it. And then it has a triple fold flap that folds out which is great for putting all your pictures and stuff and with being a beach scene I'm sure you'll have all kind of pictures to post of your family and your, your kids and your grandkids and it's just a great way to um, remember um, a weekend or a summer vacation and if you're into making junk journals you could put a pocket on um, one of the pages and you could slide this down in your your junk journal to um, add another little element to it or it can be a standalone and mail card so let's get started where I show you how you too can make this cute and imaginative project <laughs> For this project, I'm starting off with the triple fold flap. And for this, I'll need a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by seven and a half. And then I will, on the eight and a half inch side, I will score at four inches and at eight inches. Then I will turn it on the seven and a half inch side and score at four and three fourths inch. Now keeping the eight and a half inch across the top and um, having the half inch side there, I'll take a piece of double sided tape or sticky tape and I'll run it down across that half inch um, fold line there. And then I will take um, and press it down really, really well to make sure it sticks good. And here I'm taking a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim on the four and three quarters inch um, score line. And I'm just going to make like a little triangle notch there. So this can be folded up and over without any um, bulk in there. So go ahead and I'll score on all the lines. Just um, press it really down really good with my bone folder. Just give it a nice good pressing down. And now you can take a circle punch. I took um, a fancier one that I have, and you're gonna you're gonna punch out either half the circle or half of this, and you're gonna put it in the bottom right hand corner next to your tape. And then you're gonna turn it around, and you're gonna do the opposite corner at the top of the square, and you're gonna. Um, punch it out. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to turn the whole paper over so this um, the tape is down facing my table. In this corner right here I'm going to take some of our paper that we had with our kit and I'm just measuring it 
to see what size it is. And then I'm going to cut it a quarter of an inch smaller. And I'm just going to go through some of the different um, papers here and decide which one I'm going to put down. And I like the one that said dream, so I thought I would put it on there. So I cut it down to the size that I needed. And then I just went ahead and I glued it right on that um, square piece, even over where I'd already punched it out. So I'll, I'll put that in there. I'll line it up. i make sure it's going to stick really good. And then I'll take my punch, I'll turn it over and I'll take my punch to it, and I'll line my punch up to where it was cut out on the cardstock. Punch it again. And then I'm just kind of folding it up to see what it looks like. And here I am taking my... Um, hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole in this one corner and then I'm going to set an eyelid in there. And this crocodile that I've used, it does it just like butter. It is so easy and fast to do it. You just put it in there and you barely squeeze it and it's set. So now it's set that I can add a charm or something to it later. Now I'll go ahead and fold the thing over and I will take off the sticky tape and I will fold the, um, the pocket up like it needs to go. And, and I don't want to fold the flap inside because if you put tags or stuff in there it could get caught. And this way they won't get caught and they're going to be covered over so you're not going to see that little flap that's over there and this just lets it lay so much smoother and like I said things that you slide in there won't get caught on it so I'll just press it down really good and then this folds up as you see is how it goes and now I'll take my um, sticky tape or my double sided tape and on this bottom section I'm going to run a lot and you know, tape across it from the fold line down because what will happen when this folds up then it will um, stick to it. In this top section we're going to um, be taking some paper and we're going to be um, covering it too. So we'll measure it and make sure it's, it's a quarter of an inch smaller <clears throat> than um, the card base. And so we'll look at our papers, and this is the one I decided to use. And I went ahead and I glued it down really good, just like I did before. And after I got it all glued up really good, then I went and recut it with the punch. And now we'll remove the backing off the tape, and then. I added a little bit of art glitter glue so I could slide it around a little bit to get it in, in the way I wanted it. And then I pressed it down really good, burnished the edges really good. And then I took um, my bone folder and I went through, we have three pockets. We have one there, the second one there, and then the deep one there. So the pocket part of the card is finished, the front part. And now for the second part, we want to take a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 4 and 3 quarters and on the 12 inch side we want to score at a half an inch four and a half and eight and a half and now we're just going to fold and burnish all the score lines really well and on this one side it's going to fold you fold it to the left and then you fold it over again and that's how it goes together on the card, just like that. And that will glue there and I'll flip back. So it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. And on the half an inch side, we're going to put some more of our double um, sided tape or sticky tape, whatever you want to call it. And I pressed it down really well, make sure it's going to stick. And then I took the backing off and I um, I put some art glitter glue on it again just to make sure that I could um, slide it around 
just a little bit in case I needed it because without it once it's stuck you're, you're it won't come off without tearing and you want to line up the left side of your card to the fold line and so you that's why I need it to slide just a little bit just in case I needed it and press it down really good as you can see the little fold in there and so I just pressed it really good and if you need to you can trim up the edge a little bit like I just did and for each section you want to measure it and then you want to cut some um, pattern paper that's a quarter of an inch smaller than each square and you want to do it on both sides of this um, this fold out and then just go ahead and glue all the different sections down on on your flap on the inside and the out of your fold out and now our basic card is made now it's time to embellish the front of it and I'm just going to fast forward and let you see my process that I did for em embellishing the front of it And here I'm making a, a tag to go into the large pocket and I'm just going to fast forward um, me embellishing it. Now here I'm taking these pens. I don't really know what they're called. Um, I think they use them for knitting and crocheting to mark um, the rows. And I have all different colors and I decided I think I'll use a pink one. And I'll just open this up and I'll put it through that rivet and I'm going to hang a charm on the end of it. And I got these, um, these starfish um, um, rhinestone. They're, they, I guess they weren't really a charm because they were connectors and they had loops on either end. So I decided to um, use it anyway and take my nippers and cut off the other um, thing on it. And now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to put the rhinestone um, starfish the loop through it and through the rivet rivet in my card and have it hang down. And here's another quick overview of the card it, again. It has the three pockets on the front and then it has the triple flap where you can put pictures or you can put more pockets and stuff on either side and around or like I said you could fold it up and you could put it in an envelope and you can mail it to a friend. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And please leave a comment below. Bye for now. Happy crafting!